Welcome to Global Financial Reporting and Analysis. I'm Jeff Colton, and I'm the lecturer in charge of ACCT 3601 this term. In this video, I'll explain how the course will run, how you'll be assessed, and where you will find course information and materials. In the Seminar 1 video, I'll give you more detail on the course content. So if you've read the course outline and understand the course delivery and the course assessment, you could jump straight to the Seminar 1 video. Most weeks, you'll see a short video that provides an overview of the week's contents. I'll also provide you with lecture notes and additional readings in advance of the seminar. There's no required textbook for this course. We will use current media articles, research articles or papers, and our own weekly research to obtain all the information we need. I expect you to have a look at the material that's posted on Moodle prior to your seminar. I'll often give you some problems or exercises to think about before class. The preparation work will directly relate to the in-class exercises or activities that you'll do during your scheduled three-hour seminar. Here's how I currently anticipate using the seminar time. We'll start off by a quick recap of the week's main content. Here, I'm going to be guided by you. Once you've looked at the notes and the readings, I really want you to tell me what parts of the course you felt least confident with so that we can focus on that during our class time. We'll then do some applied or practical tasks that should help you better understand the week's materials. This will be driven by a goal of improving your business acumen. That is, the capacity to make a good business decisions. Often this is going to have a data analytics focus. One thing I really want you to get from the course is a greater capacity to analyse data. Your potential employers keep telling us that this is a key skill for graduating students, and financial statement analysis and global reporting is an obvious course to learn and practise these skills. So we'll be looking at databases and pushing stuff about in Excel. I'll go through some basics and you'll then go into groups to complete a task. We'll then reconvene and summarise what we have found. After the scheduled seminars, I'll upload any summary documents or spreadsheets or materials so that we can all build our course materials up over the term. The second thing that I wanted to cover was course assessment. This is all available in the course outline as well as in the assessment section of the course Moodle page. Assessment will cover a few components. You will prepare a five-ish minute video presentation that's worth 15% of your grade. It will focus on one of the topic areas that we cover in the term. You'll have some flexibility in exactly what you choose to cover, but ideally it will be related to your group project. To help you in this task, Earlier in the term, you're going to hand in a practice video. You'll each provide some feedback on someone else's practice video. This feedback that you provide will be worth 5% of your overall grade. The major assignment will have you undertaking a detailed analysis of financial reporting issues that impact on international equity analysis. I will help you form groups and determine the specific assignment question. The assignment's going to be worth 30% of your grade. We'll discuss the project in more detail in our first seminar. The final assessment component is the exam. You'll have two hours to complete the exam. I'll give you more information about the exam during the semester. It's going to involve some analysis of an actual company or business event. The final thing that I wanted to cover in this video is where you'll find course materials. We'll try to keep everything on Moodle. On Moodle, you're going to see if these videos, lecture notes, readings, and any other materials that we use. This course is closely tied to business events, so I'll always try and in incorporate current events. We'll refer to these in our weekly videos or into the lecture notes. To do well in this course, you should also be paying attention to current business events. To recap, after viewing this video, you should understand how the course will be delivered, how you will be assessed in the course, and where to find relevant course information. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in class this week. This is a course that I hope will be really practical. Make sure that you have a look at the material that's already been posted in Moodle for our first seminar.